Good morning, Mandeville. I hope you all had a lovely weekend and are ready for another week of learning. I've actually been in a really bad mood this weekend. I've been very grumpy. <sighs> Things just have been going wrong. There was a leak in my kitchen, so that's another thing to sort. Post isn't arriving, so I'm not getting some things from people that I would really like. One of my little girls was poorly, so that was another thing to worry about. And I was just feeling cross. I'm still cross that we can't go everywhere we want to and see all the people we want to. Everything was just feeling unfair. But then I had a phone call from one of my friends and I'd sent them a little present. And they were so grateful and they rang me to say thank you. And it just gave me this really warm, lovely feeling that something I had done had made them so happy. And it got me thinking about when we're grateful and how we show people that. I remember in the last lockdown on a Thursday, I used to stand outside my front door and clap for all the NHS workers, all the people working in hospitals and healthcare, keeping us safe. We're not doing that anymore, but it doesn't mean we can't think about who we're grateful to and why. And I want you to think today in assembly about gratitude. Gratitude is about being thankful. It's about showing appreciation for people who are kind to you and being prepared to return that kindness. And I've got a little story for you to watch so you can think about those things. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play the king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much, and the tree was happy. But time went by, and the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches, and eat apples, and play in my shade, and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, Climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. So the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house, and the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. 
then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down a trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. I love the animation in that story. Now, I want you to spend some time in your classes thinking about that story and talking about it. Who was grateful to who or what? How did they show their appreciation? Do you think they were thankful enough? Should they have been doing more to show that they were grateful? Have a think and a chat. Here are some questions for you to think about. Watching that story really changed my mood. Instead of being miserable about the things that were going wrong or things that I wish I could do or wish that I had, I started to change my mindset and try and be positive and grateful for the things that I do have. I'm really lucky to have a safe house to live in and a garden that I can be outside in. I'm really grateful that I've got lots of lovely walks nearby that I can take Molly on, especially now the sunshine is coming out more and more. I'm really thankful that my family are happy and healthy and I feel really lucky that I've got friends on the end of the phone or on Zoom, even if I can't see them in person at the moment. So I want us to think about what we can be grateful for. So you should all have a leaf and we can make our own giving tree. So on your leaf, I want you to write down something that you are grateful for. I'm going to write, I am grateful for my garden and the flowers that are starting to grow. I've got some flowers in my garden that somebody very special planted for me. And so I feel really happy every time I go outside and see them. So I've done my leaf. I don't know if you can see that. I want you all to have a think now, share your ideas in class and write yours. And then we can make our own either in class giving tree or maybe a big, big one in the hall. We'll have a think. So be positive. Think about those small things you are grateful for. And I promise you it will help put you in a good mood too. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.